So in question number one of this second exercise, we have been given a few set of shapes and using an isometric dot paper, we'll have to make an isometric sketch for each one of the given shapes. Let us see the first shape on the canvas. So here in the first figure, we see an oblique sketch paper, which has been used to represent this cuboid and we'll draw the isometric sketch for this cuboid using an isometric dot paper. So we'll use this isometric dot paper, which is a sheet which divides the paper into small equilateral triangles made up of dots. So we use an isometric dot sheet to draw solid shapes so that we can see all the faces of a 3D figure on a piece of a paper. So basically, as we see here in this oblique sketch paper, there is a cuboid which has been drawn on a piece of a paper, which can be best drawn as an isometric sketch on this isometric dot paper. So this particular figure gives the isometric sketch of the cuboid, which is given in this first part of the figure. So as we can see here in this figure, this cuboid, all the six faces of the cuboid are visible and we can see how a 3D figure is represented on a piece of a paper. So this is how the first part of this question is going to be answered. Let us see the next shape on the canvas. So in figure two of this question, we again see the oblique sketch of a 3D figure, where this is again a 3D figure and using the isometric dot paper, this is how the 3D figure is represented and this is the isometric sketch equivalent of the 3D figure which has been shown in the oblique sketch in the question. So as we can again see here, the 3D figure is represented as a 3D figure on a piece of a paper and all its faces are visible and this is how a 3D figure is drawn using this isometric dot paper. So this is how the second part of this question is to be answered. Let's move on to the next shape of the question. So moving on to the third figure, we again see that there is an oblique sketch, which again is representing a 3D figure. And we'll have to draw this 3D figure using an isometric dot paper. So this is the isometric sketch of this 3D figure and is being drawn using the isometric dot paper. And we can again see all the faces of the figure and is the best representation of this 3D figure on a piece of a paper on the 2D dimension. So this is how the third shape can be drawn using an isometric dot paper. Let us see the next shape. So again, in this fourth figure, we see that this oblique sketch paper is having a 3D figure, which is nothing but in the shape of a ladder, which can be drawn as this, as an isometric sketch on a isometric dot paper. As we can see, this is represented as its true shape and all the faces are visible. So this is how this shape is again, which is a 3D figure has been represented using the isometric dot paper. So these are the different ways through which we can draw the 3D shapes, the solid shapes using an isometric dot paper. So these are the isometric sketches for these 3D figures, which will help us visualize the solid shapes on a 2D dimension. So this is how the first question of this exercise is going to be answered. To know more about how QMath can help you become a master of math, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers.